Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Spoiler, in this video I have purchased four different versions of the same item because I just kept seeing them pop up in all of my favorite stores and I feel like until you really order something and you look at it in person, sometimes it's hard to tell like which one I was going to like more. So I thought, why not order them all? I'll try them on for you. I will talk through each of them and then we can do this together. And I need your help because honestly, it's really hard. They're pros and cons to each of them, but I actually think all of these are really great options when it comes to a cropped trench coat. So let's jump right in, but please let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite because I'm having a really hard time picking to be perfectly honest, and I'm obviously not keeping all four versions of the same thing. So I will be hopefully choosing one, that'd be true. And yeah, we'll go from there. So I have pieces from Koss, H&M and Massimo Dutti. They're the ones that had kind of my favorite versions of this look. They're all roughly the same price point except for the H&M one. So I believe the H&M one, which I'll get into like pricing and sizing and everything, was around $50 versus the others were all around $200. So a little bit of a range. And again, there is that lower price point option. This is such a great piece for anyone's wardrobe just because like we're getting into that season from a practicality standpoint where having a light jacket is crucial if you've watched a lot of my past couple of videos or really any of my videos <laughs> i always really highlight these light wool jackets from cos they're very much in the same category where you just throw them on over like a t-shirt or something in the spring and even the summer frankly and they just make really great options as sort of like light layering pieces and a trench is very much like that and even better because a lot of these are waterproof. So let's start with, which one, which one, which one? I'm gonna start with the Massimo Duty one first actually. And you guys. Okay. So. This is the Massimo Dutti one, and I don't order a ton of stuff from Massimo Dutti, but in general, I do find them to be a very high quality brand, more classic, less trendy, and that's exactly what I got out of this piece. So from a fabric perspective, the fabric feels very high quality, very luxurious, feels like it would be waterproof. It is completely lined. Just feels like it's very well made, to be perfectly honest. This is a special edition, whatever that means. And I can't see the sizing, so let me pull up the actual stats on it. In fact, I'm actually gonna put it on because it's just really gonna immerse me into what I like and what I don't like about this jacket. Also, I'm gonna style these. I'm gonna be wearing the same outfit roughly, even though I did find that some of these look better with actually black trousers versus tight jeans. But I'm gonna style all of them with both because I want it to be just an apples to apples comparison so that the accessories and stuff aren't like taking away from the actual jacket and you can just really see side by side which one looks like what. Okay, so this was actually I think the most expensive. This was 229 USD and I got it in a size extra small, which I think is a perfect size for me. I still have plenty of room. So if I did want to wear a sweater or something underneath, it feels very spacious, but it's not like too large in the shoulders or anything. I think it fits super well. Again, it's a very nice material. They actually also have this in black. Oh no, in navy blue. Ooh. Ooh, that's super cute. So if you were looking for a non sort of traditional tan trench, then they also have it in navy blue, which is great. Nice to have those options. And let's look at the fabric. Okay, so this is actually 60% polyester and then 40% cotton, but it does feel really nice. It is certified, I think recycled polyester, at least on the outer bit. So yeah, very nice uh, details on it as well. The buttons are super nice. I love that they have both this little thing on the top and then also the little buttons on the sleeve here. The one downside of this jacket for me is the color. 
So I don't know if this is gonna pick up on camera exactly. Let me try to get closer to you. So while this is still like a traditional kind of taupey color, it is the least warm. It's a cool taupe. It's kind of almost a, a grainy bit. I'm actually gonna show this next to the H&M one. So you can kind of see the difference. It's very subtle, but it's enough for me to just not like love, love the color. So it's actually kind of nice to know there is a navy option because in general, yeah. The other thing that I don't love as much about this one is the fit for me personally, because I was looking for more of that cropped trench look. And I actually have a very long torso, but in general, I think my proportions can read a little more petite. I do think having it be slightly more cropped is a little more flattering on me. I mean, looking back at the videos, who knows? <laughs> I might change my mind, which is why you need to let me know. But um, yeah, in general, I just felt like this was a lot more of a classic cut and it hits a little bit lower on the hip. So it's less trendy, which to be honest, if you're looking for more of a classic piece, that's just like a shorter trench, this is definitely gonna be the best bet for you out of all three of these options. But for me personally, I think the cool tone and the more classic fit wasn't exactly what I was looking for in terms of a crop trench. So I do think I will be returning this. I think a great example of it is like, if you look at this with the black trousers, I don't think they look new. It looks nearly as good as when I wear this with the skinny or slim pants. And I like the jackets here, which you'll see in a second, that look good with both trousers and the slim pants. Like there's just more versatility in terms of what you can style it with. And in general, I'm always looking for more versatility in my wardrobe and in my pieces. And so for that reason, yeah, I just think this one is going to go back, but it's a really lovely coat and very good quality. So especially for the price, even though it is the most expensive for a really nice well-made coat, I think it's a great price. Okay, next, I think, let's talk about the H&M one and then we'll get into the two costs ones because the cost ones are super different, I will say, from each other and also from some of the rest of these. So this is the H&M jacket and this is actually the lowest price point jacket. Hold on, let me pull up everything about it. <laughs> So I'm giving you all of the correct information. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, so this jacket actually wasn't even $50. This jacket is $39.80, which is, ah, because I think I got a 20% off. Okay, again, I say this every single time, but I highly encourage you if you do like shopping at H&M, download their app because they have sales constantly that'll just be super random, a very random 20% off. And so, yes, I was correct before. This jacket actually is normally $54.99 USD, but I ended up getting it for $39.80, which is like pretty incredible. And I did get it in a size extra small, just like the other one. In fact, every single jacket that I bought, I got in an extra small. And this is called the color dark beige. I really do prefer this warmer color personally. I think it's a little more flattering. And I also prefer the cut of this jacket to the Massimo Dutti one. So this is more of the cropped look that I was looking for. It truly hits me like right at my hip bones, which I think is more flattering for my personal proportions, my body proportions. And I will say the detailing is not as nice. Like you can definitely tell it's a little bit cheaper with like the buttons, for example. The buttons on the Massimo Dutti coat are a little bit nicer. I also don't mind this little like faux leather finish, but I do think that this kind of a little buckle detailing just looks cheaper than the double double button kind of cuff look on the Massimo Ducci jacket. So you can definitely tell it's slightly cheaper, but honestly, I was really pleased. It feels like heavy, you know, it feels good quality. It doesn't feel like it's a inexpensive jacket, to be honest, for being the most inexpensive. So I was like really, really happy with that. Again, um, the fabric content. So the shell is 20% recycled cotton. The lining is 100% recycled polyester. Yeah, just the inside. So it seems actually ironically a little bit similar to the Massimo Dutti one, even though this one was significantly, oh no. Oh, it's all out of stock. I'll leave it linked below. Oh, the other thing too is this one also actually comes in black. Let me just put this on to feel it. 
So again, if you're looking for a trench or a light jacket that isn't, you know, this brown taupe, more traditional color, like the Massimo Duty that came in navy, this one actually comes in black and there are still sizes available with this. With the beige one though, if you do want it, again with H&M, they have the nice feature where you can put your email in and they'll notify you if it comes back in stock, which that happens fairly often. So I would highly recommend doing that. So this is 56% cotton and 44% polyamide. So I'm sure that's some type of polyurethane, I'm not sure exactly, but roughly the same as the Massimo Duty, so it is a bit of a blend, but again, it feels really nice. It feels like it would be waterproof, <laughs> which is also kind of what you look for. And the reason I, I keep kind of going on about the materials and the fabric and that it's heavy is that this is kind of a raincoat, right? Like you are gonna kind of wear it out when, it's, it's maybe not be like full bloom utilitarian raincoat where the rain, it's completely water repellent. I already have a fully water repellent trench that I got from Mango that I'm obsessed with and that I love and it's the long. So if it's raining really hard, to be honest, I'm gonna go for that one, but I really love this one when it's just like a little dreary or a little windy. I think it's super cute. So yeah, in general, I'm actually really, really loving the H&M one. And I'm kind of impressed by how well it's standing up next to some of these more expensive options that are in the $200 range. So very, very into this. And again, comes in black, which is pretty cool. Okay. Also, slight intermission my these mary james are so cute i actually just ordered them again in a lighter tan color these are from zara and i also love that you can hide the mary jane part if you want and it just be a really comfortable ballet flat i just think i've already gotten them dirty because i've been wearing them so much but i just think these are really really chic and they have been selling out really fast so just wanted to call out these that i've been styling with everything because I just love them and I've been wearing them a lot. They're super, super comfortable, which is very rare. And they're real leather, which is cool too. So if you guys are new to my channel, I love costs. I just think their items are so modern, but still classic enough where you're not going to regret it in the short term or honestly, even the long term. I still have pieces in my closet from Cost from 10 years ago and I still love them and I still wear them. So I just think there, if you're gonna spend your money somewhere, cost would definitely be the number one place I, I personally would recommend just because I think in terms of how you look and how fashionable it makes you look and the quality, you, it just can't be beat, it's fantastic. And so that's why I ordered these two jackets from Koss and I'm gonna go into the most trendy of actually this entire kind of collection this one caught my eye and I knew it was a little bit of a wild card, but again, I wanted to try it on for you guys and just see what it was like when I actually got it. And I do feel like I've actually tried on a similar thing in the past. It was a cropped cape trench that was super cute. I mean, just like stunning. This is also very, very cute, but had some problems with that that are actually very similar with this one. So love the color on this one i love the detailing on this one again that kind of like classic trench detailing but still different <sighs> the thing that gets me on this one is the fabric so i'm sure it's actually a really nice fabric i'm sure it's 100 percent cotton or something if i can show you yeah so it's 80 percent cotton and then 20 percent nylon and that's exactly what it feels like it kind of does it really does have that nylon-y feel to it it's very lightweight and it's not lined. So to be honest, if this, if I didn't know this was from Koss, I actually think this could have been like an H&M buy in terms of cheapness. Like if, if in a blind test, if I had to go through and look at everything, I actually would think this might be more of the $40, $50 jacket. Minus like the buttons that are really nice and the finishes are really nice. Just the fact that it's not lined and that it's so lightweight and because again, it's something that I would be wearing if it's like windy or a little cloudy out or something, this is just gonna blow away in the wind. It's gonna blow all over the place. It's just not gonna stay on my body in the way that I would like it to. And I mean, what is a downside for me though? Ah, can't even get it on. There we go. 
be a huge upside for someone else because it is so lightweight. You like barely feel like it's there. It's super, super comfortable. So if you were wanting to add just an extra layer of visual interest to your outfit, but not have it add temperature <laughs> or increase your temperature, then I, I mean, this would be a really fantastic jacket. I do love how trendy it is, I will say. I love that it's like super, super cropped. However, so if you're into like buying a trendier piece and you don't mind spending $200 on that, 100%, this is a great one. However, for me, again, it didn't have the versatility like the H&M jacket. It was more like the Massimo Dutti coat, but it actually sort of had the opposite problem where I thought the Massimo Dutti jacket looked better with jeans. This one I think looks way better with like a high-waisted black trouser, which I have styled it with my Cos wool black trousers, which are my favorite thing in the world. So like I'm obsessed with this outfit, but when I wear it with a jean or something, I just don't like it as much. And so I think it would be cute with a really high-waisted linen short or something for the summer. But in general, I just think you do have less styling options just because it is not only just very cropped, but it's also really voluminous because it's a one size fits all. So you do have like a lot of fabric, which again, adds to the visual aesthetic of the whole thing. Like it makes it look cool, but it's just a little bit more limiting in terms of how you style it in my opinion. So even though I think this one's a lot cooler and I actually like it a lot more than I thought I was going to when I tried it on and wore it, which honestly, that's a big thing with cost too, is, is because the, a lot of the silhouettes and stuff are more oversized, I do find you have to try their things on a lot of the time, especially when it comes to, you know, like a large dress or something like this. So I do really like this, but I do think this is probably going to be a no for me just because of the practicality of how like light it is and also just the styling aspect of it but let me know let me know what you guys think and my leg is falling asleep as i'm filming this okay so the final final piece which is also from cos this was again in an extra small oh shoot i didn't even tell you the price so the last jacket is, oh, it was actually $150. So it wasn't $200, it was $150, which is pretty good. This jacket is $190. So actually pretty much the exact same price as a lot of my cropped wool coats that I have that I now have in both gray and black that I wear nonstop. And this coat has such a similar look to it that again I knew because I wore these other coats so much that this was like a really fun kind of spring summer option that I was very drawn to this. In general the quality of this is very nice. Look at the inside of that. Lined beautifully. I love actually the light fabric that they've chosen for the lining. I think the detailing is so beautiful like the buttons are really nice. It's just like like many cost things, it's just really thoughtfully designed, in my opinion. I just love this top. And no, it's not your traditional trench coat look per se. It is more of a car coat. I just think it's, it's impeccably done. It's so nice. I mean, look, even to this level of detailing on the inside here, where they put in a little space for this little tag to just tuck in and tuck away from the body. It's like really thoughtful design elements like that, which is why I absolutely love Cos. Talked about it before where I love the adjustability and a lot of their pants and their skirts. And I just think they're just doing things in such a beautiful, thoughtful way. So let's jump right into this one. What else? I just love this coat. It's slightly more oversized than the H&M jacket, even though it is an extra small and an extra small is what I always go for, especially in my tops, because I just am a little more kind of petite in that area. I'm not petite because I have long arm, longer arms, but I am a little bit smaller. And so I just think this is such, oh, it's such a nice coat. It's, it just feels so good. I think it looks so chic. I love this little top bit. And I actually really like the color as well. It's still like a warm tan, but it's not too yellowy, not too brown. I think there's a lot of nice versatility here. 
And from a styling aspect, I thought this looked just as good with jeans as it did with trousers. You know, with trousers, I think having a little oversized top mixing with the oversized bottom just gives you that cool casual look. And then if you want to look a little more put together, having it on with a slimmer pant and a little ballet thought I think is also very chic. So I'm really, really loving this jacket. I think for now, I think the H&M one and this jacket are definitely my top contenders. Again, you have to let me know below, but even though this one is on the pricier side, again, it's $190. I just think it's so nice. Just, it's a really great jacket to have when you just want to throw something on, get out the door and protect yourself from the wind, maybe a little bit of rain and still feel like you look chic in the process. So I'm really loving this, this jacket. It's, it's a cotton twill, I think is what they said on the website. Let's take a look. See, it's a hundred percent cotton. So this is actually, I think the only jacket here that's a hundred percent cotton. And whatever it's finished with feels really nice because it does still feel like it would be waterproof and not just like suck in all the water if anything hit it. So yeah, let, again, let me know what you guys think. Let me know which one is your favorite. And yeah, best of luck when looking for a really great spring summer trench. I think these are all really great options. Yes, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one.